Hello, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to enable annotations for a shared screen through your zoom.us account settings. Now, if I go to shared screen and I share, let's say, a web browser, you'll see that at my top menu bar, I have this annotate tool, and that will open all my annotation tools. So if you see a bar that looks like this, you'll notice now there is no annotation feature listed in my menu. So that means I need to go into my zoom.us account and change those settings to be able to access the annotation feature. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to go to zoom.us and go into my account. And so that will take you to your profile page. I've blurred out my own information, so it'll look a lot clearer for you on your side. And then I'm going to navigate down to settings right here. I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to go to my in meeting basic settings so I can quickly navigate there by clicking right here on the left menu bar in meeting basic and I'm just going to scroll down to annotation it's going to be right below screen sharing or right above your whiteboard options so in annotations if you didn't see that annotate button on your shared screen, that probably means that annotate is in the off position and you're going to want to make sure to toggle that on to give you that option. And then I recommend having allow saving of shared screens with annotations checked. This will allow you to then save a PNG or PDF image of your annotated shared screen during your meeting. And since this course is focusing on asynchronous lecture recording. Uh, you don't really need to worry about this feature down here. Only the user who is sharing can annotate because in your asynchronous recording, you will be the only user there. So just make sure that this switch for annotation is toggled on. And then when you go to share screen, you'll have this button available to you. One last thing I do want to note is that if you are currently in a meeting and you toggle this feature on, you will need to end the meeting and restart it in order to get the annotate feature on your shared screen. Just toggling annotations on during the meeting will not change the current meeting settings. So remember, if you want to annotate on a shared screen, be sure to check those settings before you begin your meeting. Thank you.